The Guyana Public Service Union is threatening civil disobedience if the government fails to abide by the rule of law. The union is hoping that it does not reach to that stage. The union's comments were in direct reference to the dismissal of two nurses and the suspension of another over the disappearance of a quantity of morphine from the GPHC. The union president, Patrick Yard, at a briefing today said that the dismissal wasn't properly done. The GPSU has since written to the CEO of the hospital requesting a meeting and the nurses reinstated. We prepare to be civil disobedient. Okay? Because if you have people who should be setting the example in observing and respecting the rule of law, floating it, we prepare to be civil disobedient. Okay, because if the law cannot protect us, if they could abuse us, then we will not submit ourselves to that. Okay, but we hope it don't reach to that stage. And that's why we are putting on record the efforts we are making to get respect for the rule of law. Kim Dan Alexander, union representative, GPSU, said that the conduct of the management is contrary to the agreement for the avoidance and the settlement of disputes between the hospital and the union. The GPSU subsequently dispatched a letter to the management of the hospital indicating our concern and displeasure and condemnation of the procedure adopted by the hospital management, which did not conform to the principles of natural justice that had to be observed. This concern of the union is centered on the fact that the nurses were not given the right to a hearing and to be represented by their union, which is, recognized, which is the recognized union to represent all the workers at the cooperation. When you see this type of outrageous conduct coming from someone who is supposed to be responsible, you could see the personal nature in which this matter is dealing with. This has resulted in me writing Mr. Khan to tell him I do not feel he's a fit and proper person to deal with this matter. He's biased. He cannot accuse people and adjudicate in the matter. And I demanded that we meet within five days. The GPSU said they will intensify their action if what is happening is not addressed in a timely manner. Reporting for Capital News, Royce Andre.